Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Ivana, Piperina for friends. I'm Italian and now I live in South Korea. And today's video is about the struggles of being consistent with content creation. Why can we be consistent with content creation? Why do we stop and start again, over and over again? So there are many reasons. First of all, introverted people doing social media, they pick like a very big struggle. I'm an extroverted introvert. My MBTI is INFJT and the T is the thing that actually messes up everything together with other things from my upbringing and my personal experience. So introverting doing content creation. Why do we do this to ourselves? <laughs> it's because most of the times we are artistic people. We are artists, we want to share our art and we want to reach out to people, you know, and maybe make a living out of our art. So we use social media. Also, we can enjoy social media. I really do enjoy social media. I don't like how social media work. I don't like how the algorithm of different platforms work. And I hate that it changes every couple of weeks. But if I really want to do this, I have to adapt. Adapting to this can be really hard for people, but we do this. We, we still try. In my case, I'm inconsistent because I have many reasons, but the main one is that I feel ugly. I don't like my face. I don't like my voice. I don't like how I come out, I come out in pictures most of the time and videos, and I don't like my voice in recording. So I think that I am better in person than in pictures and videos. So why do this to myself? Because I enjoy it, because I want to do it, because I want to share what I do and because I want to help people the way I want to be helped. I want to create the content that I look for, but I am a makeup artist. My main job is do makeup on people. And if I want to share it on social media, of course, I have to talk about it and I have to do things on my face, which I don't like. And I love doing makeup. I enjoy doing makeup on myself, but it's pretty hard to do makeup on my face for various reasons. And there are things that I want to change, like with plastic beauty surgery <laughs> on my face. Not, 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 not much actually, but there are things that I would like to change. So actually those things make it really hard for me to do makeup on my face. First of all, I don't know if you can see this, but my eyelids, they are very different. They are droopy, but this side is more than the other one. So it's not that I have like hooded eyes, but they are literally different. So. The tricks that I can use on my left eye are different from the tricks that I can use on my right eye. It takes a lot of time and most of the time with different types of makeup, you can see because the results are different. And therefore I lost the passion I had to do this and to show this. But you know, this is also my job. This is also what I want to do. And I really do enjoy the idea of doing social media and I was pretty good for a while. I've tried having a blog. I've tried Instagram and I changed it like it like a few times. I've tried YouTube. I'm still not sure about TikTok, but I'm just like posting something over there. And I keep trying. I keep trying because this is what I want to do. And it's also good for my job. Of course, I can reach more people. I'm not using my face as a canvas for YouTube videos, for example, cuts off a big chunk of my reach. It's because I'm insecure about my face. Also because I was bullied about my face ever since I was nine years old. I mean, I've had this face. I was a pretty cute kid when I was very small, but I've started having this face when I was like seven eight years old, this face never changed. I've never had a glow up ever. No glow up for me. And I, of course I have like my very dark circles because they are super, super dark and I'm looking at myself, sorry, but they are also like, it's, it's a void here. So if I really see, this is a shadow and it's like really big hollow, especially in pictures and shadows and everything. 
I should do like the fillers, but I'm really, really scared of putting like something here. So, so unless I can lighten up a lot the skin tone here, there's not much that I can do and that I want to do. Differently from my eyebrows that are stupid and my eyelids that are so different. I really, really want to do the eyelid surgery. And also personal experiences with friends and partners or people that I was interested into, they really, really shaped my insecurity about my face. This is the main reason I feel ugly. At some point, the insecurity will still kick in and make me feel ugly. Also because this is backed up by a lot of experience where my face, it didn't even matter what kind of body I had because I've had my face. This face was the only thing that mattered. So a lot of bad experiences still to this day make me so insecure about my face, even though I do feel pretty sometimes. So I think that being insecure about our aspect, about the way we look is the main reason why people don't put themselves on social media. And this is a vice, vicious circle, sorry, vicious circle. If we don't put ourselves out completely re in regard of the job that we want to do, we are not doing everything about our job. We are not opening up all the doors for said job. So this makes us not get everything we can from the job. So we can never go one step, one step and one step higher. We stay still here because all these doors, all these steps, we don't want to do them because the door is closed and we have the key and we close the door and we have the key in our hand, but we don't want to use it. That's a pretty nice image. That is so. So <laughs> the other reason is that every market is oversaturated. Everyone is on social media and everyone is doing something and wherever we do, it's already been done or someone else had the same idea because we are 8 billion people on this planet. So of course, there's no really super original idea that's never been seen before at this point. We tend to think that we are not adding anything to the market. We are not adding any value. I mean, even if I do on myself or on a model, a video about the difference, for example, of natural makeup, neutral makeup, full glam, no makeup, makeup. How many other people have done that? Do you really need my video? Do you really need to see me doing this? Even though there are hundreds of thousands of videos of people doing that. This is something that can prevent us from putting ourselves out there and show what we can do. This is something that I'm really, really reflecting on lately because yes, it's true. The market is oversaturated. Everyone is on social media. Everyone is doing something and everyone is doing something that someone else is doing or has done. This doesn't mean unless we copy each other like plagiarism without credits, that's different. But this means that we tend to think that we are not adding anything, but we still see hundreds of thousands of people doing the same thing. And I mean, pretty much everyone has an audience. At some point, you will create a community with people who like your style who like you as a person, who like what you do, who like the way you write your caption, who write the way you edit your content. This is something that I noticed and it really started from watching um, artists, like drawing artists, digital and physical. I, I do a lot of, I do a lot of things. I'm a multi, mm, multi-potential person. I will talk about the struggle of being a multi-potential person, like in another video, but I also draw. It was actually my first passion. And I think that always identified me. And I thought, why would people 
want to look at my at my drawings why would people ask me for commissions there are so many artists out there and a lot of them they are professional and a lot of them they are so so good that of course i feel that i'm not really that good even if everything is still a learning process especially art i used to think that no one would be that interested in my drawings and that i could never make it then i was really looking into the art community on different social media on different platforms and different style different types of art and then i saw that people just liked different artists it's extremely personal i used to think that everyone else was good but not me because if they had a community if they had like maybe like even 50 people who liked their art it was because there was some reason and i could see the reason for anyone else except for me so one thing that i really learned by observing social media and any type of creator with any number of followers is that there's space for everyone. If we want to do it, there is space enough for us to put our foot in and then another one and then to make us comfortable in the market. Wow, that was so poetic for no reason, but yeah. I started to think that I could also do that because at some point you have to start and then you will work yourself your way up but you need to feel that you can do it. If you don't feel that you can do it, you will never do it. I tried many times and then I stopped because really being consistent is really hard for me. I get tired mentally and emotionally quite easily. And since I'm a very like artistic person, I go, I tend to go where my inspiration goes. Then I have other issues, but I'm not talking about them here so that's for my therapist but the thing is that I thought that I was not serious enough also one thing is that you can't change you can't change topic you can't change the direction so you have to do something and it has to be the right thing and the reason I'm inconsistent is because I kept thinking this is not right oh i made a mistake okay i have to stop and i cannot fix this it's either i go like i delete everything and i start anew or i can never change the course of it but then i was following people for like many years who slowly gradually or at some point decided to change the direction of their social media mainly youtube and then instagram and they did it and it was fine also, a lot of people, they talk about two to three, even four different topics on their YouTube channel. And it's okay, and they can do that. And people will follow them because they like those topics. Maybe not all of them, but they will still follow the topics that they're interested in too. And I thought that I could not do it. Everyone else could do it, I couldn't. If I had kept doing what I wanted to do since 2013, which was talking about books, makeup, hair, drawings, and other not personal, but general topics of conversation, I would have an, a 10 years old YouTube channel talking about topics that are evergreen. So right now, since I don't want to prevent myself from talking about things that I love, I decided to have two different channels. I decided that I don't want to keep myself behind closed doors, doors that I closed and that I have the key of. So it may look like I do too many things. It's true. It may look like I am confused or I'm not sure what I want to do which is not true. I'm just really scared. Fear is a big element in 
trying to do what we love. And for example, in this case, put ourselves on social media. So I don't want to be scared anymore. And I'm sure that I just need to keep doing things. I need to force myself. I'm a bit lazy, but also other things are at play in this. And I'm sure that I can find my place. I can make my place. There's a space for me too. I just need to be brave enough to put my first foot there and to say, hey, I'm going to make my space here because there is space for everyone. There are so many things at play in this. I thought that this video would be like more like, hey, these are like four or five reasons why people are inconsistent and this is reason one, reason two, and give my explanations and that's it. This is kind of very personal, but it's okay. It's okay. This is how I want to do things. I don't want to be like a robot. I want to put myself out and let people know me for the person that I am. So it's okay. It's fine. I do talk a lot. I give like my personal reasons, my personal explanations, but also I'm sure that someone else is feeling the same way that I'm feeling. We can do this and it's never too late to start. It's never too late to put yourself out and start something. I have to tell this like to myself more often because I uplift others, but when it comes to me, ah, I'm so hard on myself. And I'm sure that someone else is doing the same. There's no one who's like absolutely unique in a world where there are 8 billion people. My goal in putting myself out on social media also is to help people and to provide the content that I look for. Of course, if I can provide it, if I'm able to provide it, it's something that I know. I want to do for others what I need to find for myself. There's always some space that need to be filled, some questions that need to be answered. If you have the answer, put it out there because it can help someone. And this is why, despite everything, I kept trying and I'm still trying today to kind of start anew. This sums up this very long video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this video can find people who can relate and yeah, I'm happy that I did it. Today I filmed two videos, one for this channel, one for the Italian one. So now it's time for edits, which is something that I hate because it takes so, so, so much time and I really do not enjoy it, but it's fine. I know how to do it the way I like it, kind of. I can do this. So. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.